Hi guys. So in this video, I will be discussing about very important concept, which is a difference between class not found exception and no class definition found error. So this is very important question for interview perspective as well as in your project. So because somewhat in your project, when you are trying to resolve any bug or any issue coming in your project, then in that scenario, sometimes you may face this exception, like class not found exception is coming, class cast exception is coming, no class definition found error is coming. So how will you identify like what is the issue exactly? From where should I go and resolve that? So these things might be coming onto your mind, right? Maybe sometimes you were making your project for yourself. That point of time, you might have seen this exception or error. So first of all, we have to understand like one is an exception and one is an error. Okay, so don't get confused between the two. And uh, there is a thin slight of margin difference between the two. If you don't understand it properly, you will not be able to express your answer to the interviewer in the right manner. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much confusing in the initial stage, but it will be a little bit easier to understand if you understand it properly. Okay, so let me share my screen to explain you properly what's the difference. Okay. So from the name itself, we will get to know like class not found exception. So some exception is coming because the class is not being found. Okay. So, so no class definition found error also will think the same thing like class is not found. No class is there, right? So there's a difference between that. Okay. So let's understand. So first is class not found exception. It occurs when JVM, when your Java virtual machine will try to load your class dynamically during runtime. Okay. But it cannot find a definition. Okay, for that specified class, the class which you are trying to specifically load at runtime, the JVM will not be able to find that definition of that class. So during that time, class not found exception comes. Okay, so it usually happens due to missing dot class file or if the class is not available in the class path. Okay, so in the class path, you have to see that whether you are when you are compiling your code. Okay, so that Java file should get converted into dot class file and dot class file should be present in your class path. So if that dot class file is not present in your class path, then dynamically at runtime, JVM will not be able to identify where, where that dot class file is. Okay. So whenever you will run your code, that dot Java file will get converted automatically to your dot class file. And that is being searched upon by JVM. Okay. So if that class is found, then it is fine. But if it is not found, then it will show class not found exception. Okay. So Basically, both the ex exceptions that one is exception, one is error, both is happening at runtime only. Okay. So this is specifically being searched upon by JVM at runtime. Okay. So we have to identify whether there is any missing dot class file or not. So we have to keep on searching that. So whenever you get this exception, class not found exception, and it will show like which particular class it is displaying class not found exception for. So that particular class will take, okay, and see whether that a uh, particular class dot class file is being generated or not. So if it is not generated, that means there is the issue lies. Okay. You have to search, you have to solve that issue like why dot class file is not getting generated. Okay. So ex it's an exception. So exception can be resolved. Okay. So error is very difficult to resolve. Okay. Because you can't put it in exception catch block. Okay. So exception can be handled. So error cannot be handled. So it's a basic difference. Between then what are the scenarios when class not found exception can come? So these are the basic scenarios when class not found exception can come. First is misspelled class name in the code. So sometimes you are uh, misspelling the class name. Okay. So the class name which you have written and the class name which being generated or not being generated. So there is some uh, misspelling on that class name. So during that scenarios, class not found exception can come. Okay. Second scenario is incorrect package name. So the package name which you had specified before and the package name which is there currently for that particular class, there is package name is incorrect. Okay. So during uh, loading time at uh, runtime, okay, the JVM will not be able to identify like what is the exact package name. Okay. So whenever there is incorrect package name, JVM will not be able to understand and class not found exception can be thrown. Third scenario is missing dependency jar file. So sometimes jar file needs to be there. Okay. For proper execution of your classes. But if it is not found during runtime, then class not found exception cannot. Fourth scenario is dynamically loading class. So sometimes you are trying to load the class using reflection during runtime. Okay. So maybe you are using reflection API. Okay, so in the singleton class, you might be trying to break the singleton using reflection. Okay, so in that scenario, it, there is actually loading of class happening at runtime with the help of reflection. Okay.
Okay. So in that scenario, class not found exception may come if you are not loading it properly. So we should load the class properly. We should not make use of reflection. We should not misspell the code or misspell class name. Okay. In the code, we should not make use of incorrect package name and we should always see that there should not be any missing dependencies of the jar files. Okay. So if there is any missing dependencies, then it will not be able to load the data on one time and it will throw class not found exception. So this is the code. Uh, if you are writing it, then this may occur. So what can be that code? What can be that scenario? So I am trying to explain you practically, like how it will come. So let me explain you once. So here you can see I'm trying to load the class. So how can you load the class? There are multiple ways you can load the class. Either you can do auto wiring, okay, or what you can do, you can create an object for it, or you can make use of class dot name. So I'm using class dot name, okay. With the help of class dot name, I am passing here the class, okay. So which particular class are you creating? Trying to create the object for, okay. So at runtime, it will try to load that particular class. So it will check whether that class exists or not. So if that particular class doesn't exist. So it will throw class not found exception. Okay. So there is the scenario where class not found exception can come. So here, if the class which we have shown here, like non-existent class, you can take any class like ABC or EFG, any class you can consider. If that particular class doesn't exist or it's misspelled, okay. So it will result in class not found exception. Okay. So at a runtime, actually, JVM will try to understand if that particular class actually present or not. Okay. So it should not be misspelled or at compile time might be present, but at runtime it might not be present. So those type of things should not occur. Okay. So if the class is present, it should be present during dynamically loading at runtime as well. Okay. With proper spelled class. Okay. Then it, this class not found exception will not come. So this should be taken care of. Then comes no class definition found error. Okay. So it looks similar to class not found exception, but there is a difference in that. No class definition found occurs when a class was present during the compilation of the Java program, but it is not found during your runtime. Okay. So at the execution time, which occurs at the runtime scenario, there actually the class didn't being found. It's not being found. Okay. So at compile time, it was found, but at runtime, it was not found. Okay. So what was class, uh, class not found exception? So their class only was not existing. Okay. The class name was not present. But here, the class was present at the compile time, but at the runtime, it was not present. Okay, during runtime execution, it was found that that particular class is not present. So then no class definition found error. Okay, so you got a slight difference between the two, right? Class not found exception. So there was a non-existent class. That particular class was non-existent. Okay, and you are trying to load it. Then class not found exception will come. But then no class definition found error, class was present during compilation time, but during runtime while loading at runtime execution, the class was not found. So this was the slight difference. So this error typically indicates that a problem with the class path or a class file was available at compile time, but not at runtime. Okay. So this is a difference. Then what are the scenarios where no class definition found error can occur? So first scenario is class path misconfiguration. So there's a chance like you are, uh, not properly configuring the class definition data. So you have to properly define all the class definitions, all the configurations for that class in the class path. Okay. So jar files should get included into the class path. So whatever jar files it's required for the execution of that class, that those jar files should be present in your class path. Okay. So if that jar files are not included in your class path, then this no class definition found error will occur because they will uh, be generated and it will be classes will be present at compile time, but at runtime, if that jar files are not present, then those classes will not get generated at runtime. It will not be found during runtime. Okay. Third scenario is external dependencies missing at runtime. Okay. So external dependencies may be found during the compilation time, but during runtime, those dependencies are not there. Maybe it has been moved to some other place or it has been deleted due to any reason. Then in that scenario, no class definition found error can occur. Fourth scenario is class files are deleted or moved. Okay. So it may happen that during compilation, everything was there. Dot Java become converted to dot class files. Okay. So everything was there, but when you are trying to run that, okay, in that scenario, you have seen like that class are gone. Okay, that dot class file is not there anymore. So those classes got deleted somehow. 
then no class definition found error will occur. So it will either try to search for that during compilation, the classes was there, then where those classes went during runtime. So JVM will try to uh, see that. JVM will try to understand that. So whenever they will see like I didn't found those classes during runtime, then it will automatically throw this error. No class definition found error. Okay, so it's like a hardware related error. So it is like it is not able to find that, but it is still searching. It will not be able to find find because it has gone somehow. So this is very important to understand. So this is the scenario. Uh, I am just simulating that particular error, no class def found error. So here, what we are doing, here I'm doing uh, like instance creation for that class, like my class object equal to new my class and we are calling display method. So here I'm trying to understand like my class object we are creating, okay. So this is the class, my class, in which display method is there. Let's suppose this my class uh, class was present during compilation of the code, okay. So for this code, this my class dot java file was getting converted to dot class file okay it was present during compilation but when you are trying to run the code okay when you are trying to run the code during that time this class was gone so jvm was not able to find this class due to any reason maybe it was get got removed during compilation it was present but when you're trying to remove at that time this class got deleted or get got moved anyhow then this error will come no class definition form error Okay, so that this is the uh, important point where this type of error can come. Okay, so we have to make sure that those uh, dot class files are present. Whatever Java files you are writing, make sure that that corresponding dot class files are present so that it will JVM will able to load it dynamically during runtime. It will be able to find that particular class name during runtime. That is important. Okay, so if my class dot class is removed and not available during runtime, it will result in no class default error. Okay, when running the main class, I hope you got the idea like how it's working. So class not found exception, what was there? In that actually the class was only not existent. The class which you are trying to load during runtime using class dot for name, that particular class was not existent and that particular class was not present. Maybe uh, you have misspelled the class. The class name was something different, but you are writing something different. So it was not there totally from starting till end. But here in no class def found error, the class was present. Okay. During compilation also class was present, but during runtime, it was not there. Okay. Maybe it was removed or maybe some something happened with the class. Maybe some system issue might happen. So those things we have to keep in mind where that, that every classes should be there. You should keep in mind which all classes you have uh, prepared which all classes are already there and try to verify those classes okay so here is the final difference between the two okay so here if you can observe here properly what differences you can see so here you can see first difference occurs during runtime this is also occurring during runtime first is um, class not, classes are not found during dynamically loading okay so jvm will try to dynamically load the data Okay, so at that point of time, class was not found. Okay, so it was not found during compilation also and during runtime. Also. In no class def found a class found during compilation, but it is not found at runtime. Okay, so this is also a very important thing. The class was found during compilation, but it was not found during runtime. Here, class not found during dynamic loading only. In runtime only it is trying to find, but it's not loading. Okay, so it was not there at any time. So uh, third is caused by a misspelled class name. Okay, so if you are making use of A, B, C, but it was actually B, C, D. Okay, so that A, B, C was not there only, right? From starting till end. So that's why this type of exception is coming. Class not found exception, exception because that class was not there only, but we're trying to use that class, which is already not there. Okay, and here it is caused by class path issues. Okay, on missing class files at runtime. So that class is already there, but it is not found at runtime HGP. Then it can be caught and handled programmatically because it's an exception. So if you understand that exceptions can be handled, okay, we can catch it. And the, uh, if possible, you can create a custom exception as well. Or else if it is already there, that exception, you can uh, catch it in the catch block and there you can write the logic or you can uh, do the stack tracing or you can throw it whatever you want to do you can uh, handle that okay or you can logically handle that also like why that exception is coming you can try to resolve that and in uh, no class def found error it is difficult to handle programmatically okay it usually indicates that some class path issues are there some issues are there during configuration there is some misconfiguration okay or say so some issue with that class which is uh, not properly configured in the class path due to that no class def found error is coming 
Another difference is typically it relates to dynamic loading. Dynamic loading is a very important term here. Okay, so at runtime, JVM actually tries to dynamically load that class using methods like class dot name. But if it is not getting loaded, that means that class is not present. So this dynamic loading uh, keywords should be used during interview. Okay, so each and every time, if you see dynamic loading word is coming again and again. Here also in this also you can see dynamic loading is coming. Here also you can see dynamic dynamic loading is coming. So this dynamic loading class is very important. Okay, so keep remembering this uh, word dynamic loading and try to revise it again and again. Next comes it usually related to issues with class path configuration or missing dependencies that I already discussed with you. Then at last, it's an exception which can be handled. You know, right? Exceptions can be handled, but error it's very difficult or it's uh, near to impossible to handle the error because it somewhere occurs due to some system issue or due to some hardware issue. Okay, so uh, we have to take care of the system. Like is there any configuration or system issues there that we have to resolve it? That is related to hardware stuff mostly. So. It's not properly required to be handled. Rather, it should be taken care of. Like, uh, what is the actual reason for that error to occur? There are various types of error, like virtual machine out of memory error, stack overflow error, out of memory error, and this is also one of the error. No class definition found error. Okay, so these are the errors which we have to see. Like, where at hardware level or where at configuration level some issues are coming. That thing we have to resolve. We can't do much on the programmatical side. Okay, so because it's not particularly related to software. So that thing we have to understand it carefully. Okay. So these are the difference between the two class not found exception, no class def found error. So I hope you got the idea. You got the concept very clear. So now whenever you have been asked this question, what's the difference between class not found exception and no class def found error? So don't get hesitated. Don't get nervous. Just bang on and try to uh, tell whatever you have learned in this video. I hope you got the concept. You got the clarity. I will come up. I will come up in the next video and next set of concepts. Till then, it's Devji Try signing off. Bye bye. Please like, share, and subscribe so that I will get to motivation of doing this type of creating this type of videos and contents again and again. Cheers.